The views and comments expressed on the following radio program by its hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, Just Sports with Sonny Wells, and welcome. we got a great crew tonight, once again, Smitty's to my left, and then we have uh, the professional, that's what I'll call him, the <laughs> professional, Mr. Kevin Davis. Uh, he's going to be doing a lot of roving reporting for us in the upcoming episodes in, of this show. And then Doc's in the yes, house. Yes, yes, yes. And we're probably waiting for the historian to walk in at any time, but before he gets here, let's talk about that great knockout. Now, from what I know about this young lady... Her whole deal is based upon uh, she's bad now. She yes, good, she's yes. Good. But uh, you know she does she does try to intimidate you and, and try and bully you. And she came into this fight with that that whole bully type thing and got her wig knocked pulled back. Yeah, what, what, Smitty. I, I'm gonna defer to Kevin. I, I mean, know, I, I, see me personally. I, I think if she would have went in there. And if she would have took her time and box with her, you know, rather than trying to, you know, go combat style and take her down, then she would have had a better chance, you know. Everybody's disappointed. You know, you got the whole world in awe right now. You got everybody looking for an answer, but, you know, only one person really had the answer. And I, I think everybody in the whole world was surprised when this one person, I'm talking about Mr. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. He took her under his wing, and, you know, I think that's going to be her number one key to, you know, re redeeming her name. You know, she definitely did talk a lot, but... Well, hey. intimidation is, is part of the deal. Uh, you you want to intimidate. I don't care how much talent you have or whatever you do in the sense of taking down a fighter in, in this WMA or whatever they call it. So intimidation is part of her game. But she went in there and tried to box and didn't know how. And it's one thing that this young lady did was punch her, punch her, and punch her, then got her with the kick and stayed her distance from her. So this young lady had a game plan, and she executed it to the max. Right. And it was a knockout. Now, uh, I didn't see the fight, but I was told that she had her on the ground, but then let her get up because that's not her strength. Who? The lady that won. Oh, oh, well... I didn't see they it. They were down on the I ground. Didn't she see like it. she just I didn't see it either, but she got up and stayed away from getting on the ground. Well, that's the best thing she can do because yeah, you yeah. don't want her to get a hold of you because that arm right. bar right. is she, she's a submissionist. She, right. She's right. really good right. on the submission holes. Right. But the thing is, and what she did was stay at a distance and punched her. Right. So use her strength. Yeah. yeah, she didn't she didn't box her her game. She boxed the other woman's game. And the thing and is, she lost. Right. The thing is, with this <laughs> fight, you, you had two people coming into this fight. You got one person that's a martial artist, like, you know, a person that's good on their feet, good with their hands, boxing. The other person that's good with the takedowns. Ronda Rousey came there thinking that she can take on both strengths, thinking that she can do both things, but she couldn't. She could not multiply and do both things and execute. And, it, you know, it made her pay for it in the end. Well, I don't think she was prepared for what the young lady was going to bring to the table. At all. I don't think she was prepared for it. And I think that uh, she uh, paid the price for it, and she she went on this so-called this intimidation. But hey, you want to intimidate so far, and so so far, and someone comes in and use their skill and not intimidated by you, and they have whoever's handling the young lady was smart and realized stay away from a puncher. She stayed with her game plan. She stayed with yeah. her fight plan. Yeah, and she won. She won. <clears throat> conventionally, easily, and now this young lady got to rehabilitate herself, Miss Rousey, to get back in there, and uh, same game plan. Prepare, prepare for a rematch. Yeah, uh, you can yeah, definitely, exactly. you can you know definitely see right. a, a yeah. rematch. Yeah. Um, due to all all the trash talking, you know, she definitely built up a lot of people, and I definitely think that there is potential for her to win. You know, for her to definitely beat beat. Uh, I forgot her name off the top of my head. Yes. That girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that girl. Well, that girl came and uh, did her thing. So that's going to be uh, that rematch. Holly, yeah. Is, yeah. That rematch is going to be big. I can't wait. That's, Definitely. That's going to really yeah. be big. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've got a, a clip of the fight tomorrow. Oh. 
So tomorrow's big weigh-in live in Las Vegas at Mandalay Bay. Yeah. We have Miguel Cotto and Alvarez taking the ring. I mean, you got to fight. Puerto Rico versus Mexico. This is something that goes back all the way to 1978. This is a fight of the year. I'm sorry to say this, but this is the fight of the year. This, it's going down in Las than, Vegas. Uh, yes. Floyd Mayweather fight, huh? Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe I was becoming an afterthought. Uh, uh. <laughs> compared to this fight, and this is going to be, it should be the fight of the year. Um, potentially, it should be the fight and of the year. One thing about this fight is that, you know, you definitely got to look at, will Cotto take advantage of Alvarez weighing in at 155 pounds? Which See, is and that's the limit. what's the key. You know, that's the yeah. limit. And he... Today at the weigh in in looked, Las Vegas, he was taking electrolytes right before the weigh in yeah. because he's definitely trying to keep that energy, but he doesn't have the weight to, you know, do that. So he's not eating right and he might not have enough energy to last those rounds. So if Cotto mm. coming there early, he can definitely take advantage of that. Use that footwork, use the jab, get on the outside and get it done early and fast. Yeah, because he, he was drained. He looked horrible definitely the way wow i mean horrible we got a picture that and he we had got- to take those electrolytes because he had to drain it so he's trying to make weight wow yeah Cotto was solid i mean I, I believe he even came out in his socks you know yeah, yeah he, he got come out his socks bare as possible <laughs> trying know? to make the wow. weight you definitely have to make the weight i think uh we got miguel Cotto coming in at 153 and a half alvarez coming in at 155 even yeah. i mean you know you definitely got to think about that he has no room to really fuel himself the day of of the fight or yeah. before the fight you know you really need that energy to go out there and compete at this level this is not like an amateur level this is not a golden glove level this is the professionals this is the best of the best and this is actually the best of time of the year because it's the fight of the year so you have to show up well, yeah. he's fighting someone who is Cotto bring his A game. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he is something else. Yes, he always have always liked Cotto. I believe the last five fights he's had a knockout. He's won on a knockout. Yeah, and I wow. think Freddie Roach's going to have That's him Cotto. prepared. Cotto, Cotto, yes. yeah. And I think Freddie Roach's going to have him prepared. I really, truly do. Uh, I, it's going to be a good fight, and if and I know uh, Cotto is thirty five and the kid is twenty five, but the kid is slow of foot. That's right, this is one thing. He's slow of foot. Now, he's been catching people uh, in his previous fights because he just had the power and uh, he just fought uh, fighters who wasn't capable of handling him. But now, Cotto, Cotto have seen everything. Okay, and I don't know too much this kid. I could be totally wrong. Too much this kid can bring to Cotto that Cotto haven't seen that Cotto going to make an adjustment for. Let's get this right. Make sure that I understand what's going on because you guys are the expert as always. Koto made the weight, right? Yeah. Yes. Easy. Easily. Easy. So he has room to spare. Yeah. So that means he can carve up. Yes. He can, he can eat a nice meal. He can have enough energy. He, he can, can go relax. out there and get the job done. The young relax. boy is over and has to maintain what he, he has, which means he really can't pasta up or fuel up The or thing anything. is, he, he's not over and he's not under. He's on the dot. He's right there. So you have no room for error right now. Like, you know, the only thing you can do is starve yourself or make sure that you, like, whatever you eat, it comes right out. Man. That's, 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 that's to his detriment. At the weigh-in, they, they check the weights out. Now, do they check them out a second time prior to the fight, the day of the fight? No, really, once the weigh-in is done... You qualify. You can... Yeah, you can caught you have quantified and you can eat what you want. Okay. You know, you can really but the thing is when you take so much out of your body right. and you gotta put that back in in a right. twenty four hour period of time it doesn't work real it well. It don't work well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't care what age you are and he's a young kid, but uh it doesn't work well. And that's the thing. How is his punching power? Is it does it match Kodos? Uh I, I believe Al- yeah. so. Alvarez has one of the highest accuracy hits. Like he's one yeah. of the most accurate hitters right now in that weight class. Right. So him coming into this fight, at least having that under his name, is definitely a power powerful right there. Now he's he, they're equal in the sense of they both have power, but the thing is, I think Cotto have more. Uh, oh, what am I looking for? Experience. He, I, that's he has what I would experience, say. but counter punch. Yeah, Cotto is maybe a better counter puncher. Than uh, than Alvarez, which right. would be a difference, okay? Which is something that Alvarez may have seen. Right mm. on. So you have you don't fight Cotto every day. Now, right. Both of these <laughs> both of these guys uh, fought Mayweather, correct? Yeah. Yes. 
they have definitely been down the Mayweather uh, trail, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, you know, live in Las Vegas this week at Mandalay Bay, you got Mexico versus Puerto Rico. And I think not only are the, are the guys doing it for themselves, they're doing it for the countries. You know, they are really attached to the representation of their country. Definitely. Woo, that's oh, huge. Yeah. It is, it's always been huge. Like you, like you said, this goes back years, man. It's, I think the last big one might have been the 78, 78, 78 son. Yeah. But they they are this this is huge. This ain't no uh overnight thing. No, no, no. This is history. Who wins? Ooh, you know what? I, I say uh, Cotto. Okay, I say, I say eight, Cotto round too. Round 8. Miguel Cotto taking him out and uh you know, uh we'll drink to that one. Yeah, I got to go with Cotto. <laughs> you may lose it, but I I always been a Cotto. I, I definitely I like think Cotto. like you know, not not being able to make that way to these, you know, definitely yeah. go catch up to I think it may be something I Now if he's uh, he would have to start. That that fight is going to be probably what eight nine o'clock tomorrow night, mm, something like nine. that. Yeah, after the, all the other show fights. Yeah, after fights. the preliminary. So, if he started uh, eating, I guess around twelve, and then just ate a little bit, and then trying to load up a little bit between twelve and three, because you know he wants to have everything out of his system by you know right. five or six. Because you can't go in there really with anything I, in there but liquid. I'm pretty sure that his trainers and, and his staff and crew, they do have a plan in store for this. They knew that he wasn't going to come in when they walked him up in there and make the way at ease. So, you know, they had to get him down. That's why he was in there, you know, taking dropping out of his socks and you know, coming out of everything. But at this point right now, they definitely have put the plan into motion and got him back on a good regimen, hopefully in a timely manner that would make everything balance out. Yeah, yeah. and it's all about timing. Nutrition is when you put stuff back in or take stuff out of your body, nutrition wise, it's all, and supplementation is about timing. So they, uh, the uh, young guy probably has the, the timing down, or at least his trainers do. Right. Well, you will hope. You got to look at these are trainers. These are not uh, uh, dietitians. <laughs> these are trainers. Well, they made, the, they made the weight. That's first off. They made the weight. So if they made the weight, they made the weight. So they, actually know what they're doing right so this this may be to his advantage I, would, would you say so i don't see it i don't see it could be but looking at it um you make weight okay you insane. may have gone through some type of uh, starving situation but it wasn't extreme you know if you're right on the weight then but, you, but to turn around 24 hours that's that's tough you need at least 48 to really yeah, get your he, body he, back the up thing to that you're strength. not factoring in though the heart of a champion see that that plays a factor as well too you say they're representing their countries yeah that's those that's guys huge. are going to draw deep into the well and their heart is going to come into it too so that will compensate for some of the shortcomings that they they may have you in terms of the eating problems that you're talking about yeah right. so the well, mind takes I, over I, and the adrenaline starts that always going. stands out in the heart in, in, in a champion uh, um, fight you know it comes down to a man's heart how bad he wants it. All right, guys. Well, I hope everybody tune in tomorrow and watch the show. Catch it on pay-per-view. Cotto versus Miguel Al or Alvarez versus Cotto. And <laughs> it's going to be a great battle, definitely. All right. We'll be right back yeah. right after we pay some bills uh, from Pitbull. Our sponsor. Hey, are you tired of those same old energy drinks with bad taste? Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products. For more information on Pitbull energy drinks, bars, and mixes, visit their website at hiphopbev.com. That's hiphopbev.com. Online orders available at hiphopbev.com. What's your style? Curly? Straight, wavy, or maybe you like it natural. Introducing Secret Styling Hair Care Products by Smith Products Company, LLC. A complete line of hair moisturizers, shampoos, conditioners, and an assortment of other hair styling aids formulated for today's fashion-conscious consumer. 
Enhance your style. Get the secret. And we're back. Just Sports with Sonny Wells and the crew is here. And uh, we just finished up a uh, boxing segment. Moving right along to Doc's Clippers. My Clippers. Yeah, what happened, man? What happened? Golden State Warriors, they had a 20-point lead. Which I wasn't was in happy the fourth period? with. At, nah, first period. First period. But the way the game was being played in that first period, I wasn't happy at all. It was just too many jump shots, bad defense. Curry was on the bench with two fouls, but they still were able to maintain themselves. And they was able to to switch out and match even with Curry and uh, not Eagle Dollar, the uh, blah, 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 Green on the bench. Who was, who was guarding uh, Curry? Uh, Doc's son. When he when Paul wasn't in there, how did Paul? How did Doc's son do? He did okay. He he did. Okay. Who got him in foul trouble? Uh, Paul did. Paul did. Yeah, because the thing with Curry, okay, and this is and finally everybody realized the big secret. I don't know why. You got to go at Curry. Get him uncomfortable. Yeah, make no. You got to make him play defense. You just can't let him run around, shoot his little jump shot, and have a little scoop shots all over the place. You got to make him play defense. <laughs> right. Okay, you sound like you hate it. you hate another boy jumping. No, no, no. Huh? I, I, hey, I'm a you hate another scoop shot. I, I, I love Curry. Huh? I, know I know you're trying to defend I, your Clippers. Sound like you hate them. No, no. The I boy, I particularly yeah. care for it when he plays the Clippers. No. MV, MVP. I think so. I yeah, mean, you hate no MVP with the jump shots and the scoops and all that. I, I have. I'm a Curry fan. I love Curry. Except when he played the Clippers, I particularly hate him. And we're not lie about it. Except when he played the Clippers. But the Clippers, we are a team that can be a good team, but the but the chemistry with this team has been made. It's not a winning team. It's not a winning formula. I'm sorry. I, I've seen I don't know some about of the games. No, no, no. It's not a winning formula. We were talk we were talking in the shop today and we were talking about the coach. And he's been in some great situations. But he really hasn't finished. Well, on that note, he haven't finished. That's the problem with the Clippers. They can't finish. They should have finished that game last uh, last night. They couldn't well, what, finish. What do you mean, Doc Rivers hasn't finished? Right. He he won a championship in Boston, though, didn't he? Yeah, many years ago. Nobody yeah, remember yeah, that. He, he still, you know, I don't remember that. that. That's many years ago. Yeah, but he won. Many he years won. ago. Yeah. But I don't know. It's now. It, it, I'm concerned is. with now with the Clippers I, and Doc and this team that he has assembled together, that he has assembled together. Yeah, yeah. That is my issue. And one of the issues with this team, they're a good team to get to three quarters of a game. Right. They're not a winning team to finish a game. But that's been their MO all along then. Well, I'm just far, I'm, yeah. I'm, it's still there. Yeah, yeah. And it's time out for that. You know, years ago, <laughs> you can get away with that. But now, unless you get to the uh, Western Conference final, it's a bus. Right. What, what did Chris no Paul have, 40 points or something like that? Yeah, but and, it's and, not. And, and I heard that he commented that he still has to play better. Yes. He, and, and he the, probably paid his, played his best. I the mean, whole team had to play better. lit up. The problem with the Clippers, one of the problems with the Clippers yeah. is is rebounding. Yeah. And one of the problems is rebounding. Okay, secondly, there's no perimeter defense with the Clippers. Okay, there's absolutely none. And thirdly, this team shoots more jump shots. I just watched some of the game tonight against Portland. I'm sick of the jump shots. You know, what do they run? I'm getting to wonder about that. Okay, it just, I mean, the ball, my eyes stayed up in the air because there the ball go. In the air, in the air, in the air. And DeAndre Jordan? Really? He's a dunk artist. He's a, he's not even dunking. He's just dropping it in, huh? He's not even doing that. <laughs> he is being out positioned under the boards. He's going over people. You, if you, uh, I saw the game tonight. He's going over people. Wait you, mean, you mean to tell me his fundamentals are suspect? His fundamental has always been suspect, and now since he got the big dollars, he's not even working on them. Oh. Ooh. Yes. That's, All right, that, check it. That's not that's not good. No, it's not. And I, I'm totally. And he, he just, I hate to see a big man go over people. So now let me, let me chime in here. You know that, and that's part of the problem of uh, basketball today, especially uh, from where I come from. I was uh, three years at a local high school, Lawndale. Uh, we did go to the CIF championship, and you know I've told you the story. We lost, but. Moving on to uh, J.C. Ball, where I'm at now, we find so many players that do not have the fundamentals. 
um, we recently had to play three games, and we're 0-3. And, and we're 0-3 because we had to go away from our scrimmaging, which was our strength, okay? And uh, we brought that from the Pro-Am League and had the intensity high. And mm -hmm. we had to go away because we didn't have the type of fundamentals that we were going to need at the junior college level. So we had to break it down and do half-court things and get them familiar with some of the things that the better players in the junior college were going to be doing. As a result, we suffered because we they weren't going up and down every day. Right. And, right. you know, we got blown. We got <laughs> blown. I didn't even know who that team was. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, this is, this is horrible. And then we had to think, well, what happened? What, what did right. we do differently? And we just did not scrimmage. We did not scrimmage. We did not stay with our strength, which is a coaching error. So now this week, we're getting back to the scrimmaging. It looked okay, but now we have disgruntled players because they're not really buying into everything because we 0-3. Right. Whereas in the summertime, when we were winning, they listened to everything we said because we were winning. Yeah, yeah, but, it, but don't they know why they own three? And, well, if you yes own three, no, because, why are you disgruntled? <laughs> you own three. Well, that's just the mentality of, but of some time when, you're, when you're owing three like that. That's the mentality. When we started off in the summer, we had everybody buying in, and it was always all about. The head coach said this. The head coach said that. The head coach said this and that. So we followed that plan. And we were only winning by one and two points, but, you know, I know how to pull that kind of stuff out. Give us an opportunity to win. Right. And they listened, we did it, and we won. So we didn't have any problems at that point, even with the limited uh, type of resources we had for marginal players. We, they just played real hard. And they played defense really good. So we go on and we start the season, and two weeks before we started the season, once again, coach's fault we did not keep up the scrimmage we did well in our last showcase i, I believe i said so um san bernardino jc right. which they are now undefeated okay and then um san diego uh jc and they're i don't know what they are but i think they're like uh seven and something mm -hmm. but they're 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 at the top and we beat both of those teams but we were in our regular mode of playing every day and doing what we do. And we right. went away from that. And that killed us. So how do we relate that to the professional teams? My point is this. We have so many guys in the NBA now who do not have fundamentals. They're mm -hmm. just athletes. They're, they can run and they can jump. And right. they can probably only do one thing well. DeAndre Jordan, what's he good for? Uh, minimum. Locking shots and, and dunking, that's about it. That's it. Can't hit can't a free shoot throw. Free throws, can't yeah. really shoot. You know, these sorts of things. Uh, back in what? the day, you would have Mark Aguirre, Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas. All those guys played in the summer league to get their games better, and they were superstars. Right. And these guys don't do that now. Kobe used to be, for his first three or four years in the league, he was down at the pyramid. Playing in the summer league. And these guys that come in now, they, they won't. When they're down in Vegas, and that's one of the, uh, had a guy stop by the shop today who's going to be um, hosting the NBDL, which is the farm league for uh, the NBA. Okay. And one of the things that, that is really needed now is to be able to put them in a situation where they can come in and work on their craft Okay, and get better in the summer. So if he pulls this off, it'd be great. But right now, he's trying to get into the NBA right now. <laughs> Although last year they had a great playoff. That 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 was great watching that. Right. But now yeah, it's hard for me to even turn the try well, to turn NBA the TV is, on. The NBA is a bad product. Bottom line, right now it is. It, it's it has been for the last two me. Except for like you know the people like the Golden State Warriors who won it, and they're on a mission now to prove. That they were like, hey, we are the best. We're going right. to show you we're the best. Right. Don't act like our schedule was boo-boo. Right. You know? And they're coming out killing folks. No, right. the best team in basketball, hands down, 
uh, is the Golden State Warriors. All right. And you saw you saw some of it last night. They just was able to plug people in. They're so inter- interchangeable with that team. And it's just they don't miss a beat. Now, to to win on 71 games, 70, yeah, beat that record, maybe a little tough. But right now, they are the best team in basketball. Here's what has to happen. Uh, they got, was it Luke? Why is he? First of all, why is he there? The other boy's sick or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah he got a bad back. Surgery. Yeah, he's still uh, out. Yeah, he don't have operating. He don't have to. The team. It, huh? No, I ain't no Luke. But, you know, <laughs> this privileged situation. Here's the thing. Uh, Luke is there. It's easy to coach that team. They all know their roles. Well, yeah, exactly. And so, you know, they kind of know who goes in when. He doesn't have to tell them or anything like that. But, right. Uh, well, if the credit goes to Mark Jackson. Yes, it does, because okay. he originally uh, <laughs> compiled that team. Well, yes, that, that's, that's right. That's right. Have, you oh, got it right, Smitty. Oh, go to Mark yeah, Jackson. No, no, no. Yeah, Mark. The credit goes to Mark Jackson for last year. Okay, but now with this, with this continuation. You okay, basically have the same personnel. No, but that's hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Yeah. I would not do a discredit to Steve Kerr. No, okay. no, no. It I won't does, do that. It doesn't knock Steve okay. Kerr, but I'm just saying. He's nah, yes, it does. You say the credit goes to Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson put the team together. Yeah, but. Two years ago, three years ago, he's. Yeah. It's not his that's, print. Wait, hold on. That's his print is not on it. That's the amount of time that it takes for a team to gel in the NBA. Right. And my point was, well, I, he I was, he was saying his, about I, I about uh, uh, Walton, and I'm saying that uh, he actually gets credit right now. He's the coach. Who? Well, well, Luke. Luke. Luke you talking about Mark Jackson? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. So I was just trying to make an analogy. I said, if you if you're not going to give Luke credit, then we don't give uh, Mark Jackson credit, but if you're going to give uh, Luke credit, then let's give. Well, Mark hold Jackson on, but what about too? the kid, the man that coached the team, Steve Kerr? Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, here's you the can't deal. You just but, ask him but, out. I mean, but, Come Steve, on. but Steve Kerr got one of the trainers to tell him what, what adjustments to make to win the uh, uh, finals. You remember that? I, I do not remember yeah. that. Yeah, I don't he, know he what acknowledges it. I don't. Forgot about he that. I, I, anyway, come on, I don't. To me, that's not. That's not. Here's even, how it goes. That's not right. Yeah. You can't just like that. Coaches, people, players who are good role players on the team, yeah. make the best coaches. So where I don't particularly care for Luke, he's probably a good coach because he was a good role player. He was never a superstar. He was always a role player. And All so right. well, a role have... player knows roles. Yeah, but That's the, what they know. The thing well, about it is just like Phil Jackson had Michael Jordan, you have the best player in the NBA right now on Golden State. So that's his ace in the hole right there. Well, the other thing. Well, I, they tried to hey. defend Curry, and he still got, what, 37 points? Phil like Jackson that last night? averaged was 34 a role. points per game. Yeah. 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 Phil <laughs> Jackson was a role player when he played in the league. Yes. Well, I see what you're saying. The best coaches that comes from the pro uh, playing days to are the role NBA, players. The best, the, the ones who have. Uh, historically made the best coaches from the transition has been the role players because, you know, they got patience. They understand things better than... Yeah, Riley. Well, there's one exception. Jerry West. Yeah. Now, he wasn't a coach, coach, though. He wasn't a no coach. He was never a coach. He was a GM. And he knows his talent. Right. It's a lot different than being a coach. Mm, uh, now, now, here's to, to Jerry West's credit. Everybody that he ever picked up Always came into the Laker organization and fit. Well, Jerry West is one... general manager of the Golden State right now, so then it applies to the he, he knows what he's manager. doing. We say that if that so it falls. forget Steve Kerr, yeah. general manager <laughs> of, of Golden State. Uh, he, no, wait, uh, come on, so give it to him. He knows what he's doing. So no, I give it to him. I got no problem with Jerry West, but I just can't see the correlation between being a GM and you say the deception is Jerry West versus other coaches coming in who are. Who has been marginal players and so forth in the NBA? I, I have no problem with that, but Jerry West, you know, it's a lot different being a coach and being a GM. All right, a lot different. Uh, so can you guys all know. say that that we are looking at potentially another championship season for the Golden State Warriors? Yes. I think so. Yes, very much so. I, I mean, so. I, I think that they have it all. They they have the players. They have the depth off the bench. They have the coach. They have the GM. They have they, the system. They, you know, they have the fan base. Yes. I think that they might have another championship ring to yeah. put on one of their fingers. Or any major injury. Right. Yeah. 
Oh, yes. Well, you know, the thing about it is, is, is that because Luke is so close to uh, Steve have been, well, right now Luke's there. And uh, Steve will be back, but right now Luke's there, and he's a, he's a player's coach. In other words, he's not going to let those guys get out there and run and get tired and injure themselves. Right. He uses the bench. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 and that's a good thing. He got yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And do you guys have you ever seen the workout regimen that uh, uh, Curry does? Yeah, yeah. He, he talking about with the two balls and everything, you know, all that stuff. Every, oh my he's, god, he's relentless. Has this no wonder he can do all that stuff. Predictions, predictions. Last <laughs> okay, question. what do you want? What do you want to hear? All right, right now, listen closely. The Lakers are two and ten. Oh jeez. Before we come back in two weeks, <laughs> they play six games. What's going to be their record when we come back? They will not win five out of those six. <laughs> they will win five. Yeah. Yeah. The one game. What they happened to that? One game. That's what I want to know. Did they win against Toronto? No, they're losing. Overall, I think oh, okay. that overall, I think the Lakers so. will have a a twenty win season. They will win twenty games this Whoa. season. That is the maximum. Yeah, and, that's about it. And everyone needs to just realize that it's time to rebuild. It's going to take some time. They have to find the right people that fit. They have to get rid of a few people and bring in the right people. Yep. Well, so my, my answer to your that's question a is tall order, and guess what? They haven't figured that part out yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Doc, what's your answer? My answer is they will have two victories. Two. Two? Two. I, I give them one, on that. and that's going to be a last-second shot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we out. Just for the Sunny Wells. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>